If I was like old school, I'd be like, he knows my name. You know, or hallelujah. Here we go. I always wondered how they did I was never in a Pentecostal church, and a couple times I've been, a, I mean, like growing up, other than a few camp meetings, and I, a couple times I've, you know, since the last 22 years of ministry, I've gone into some Pentecostal churches, and it always freaks me out when you do something, and everyone starts screaming hallelujah and starts singing spontaneously together. And it's just, it freaks me out. And I'm like, love it though, but it freaks me out. And I feel like there's some Pentecostals here. And I feel like, um, that's good though. And I feel like um, one of them is named James from Oklahoma. Is there a James from Oklahoma? Ah, look, you are Pentecostal. Look, at you got a conference shirt on. I love it. You're shining. That's awesome. Are you from Canada though? Are you from Canada? Your name is Canada. No. That's awesome. Like, and you're not from Canada, but your name's Canada. Your parent with a K. What does Canada mean with a K? Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I stumped her. You guys, I, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna read you something I wrote. Um. Because you're you're part of this financial word that I have. Because you're gonna. You're going to make Jesus a fortune, is what he told me. And I can read their name tag. Their last name is Fortune. Oh, snap. Oh, that's crazy. Don't worry. It's not just about your last name, though, because there's, there was a financial wound where um, I think it was some sort of traveling ministry came through, and, like, something happened financially got weird. And uh, you guys can relate to what I'm saying, that... Uh, uh, almost like a theft from your guys' community it happened. And it was in a, a spiritual way. And I felt like um, the Lord is saying that uh, not only will you reclaim everything that's stolen, but you're also going to help other people who have financial wounds because of some of the stuff that was taught in Oklahoma even, in the, in the Pentecostal world. I feel like the Lord is saying you're going to help people to learn how to be extravagantly generous again without religion. And, and you're named well because you're going to give Jesus a fortune. You really are because the, there's going to be a message in a book and a, a materials that come forth about financial recovery and financial um, uh, blessing. And I feel like it's like that Richard Morris blessed life thing. It's like, it's like there's something that's on your life to live a blessed life and to bring people into it. And I feel like he's saying like in this area, you're uh, where there's been so much financial wounding in Oklahoma, in this area, you're going to be one of the greatest oasises in the area. So, okay, so what is... Church. Our church is Oasis Church. I can't talk without it being prophetic. I thought it was like lightly prophetic. I didn't know it was like literal prophetic. Uh, what is September 15th? That's our birthday. That's your birthday. That's your birthday. This is so cute. They're like, your people love you. Your friends love you. Um, I don't have anything else. Um, who is? I'm 41, just oh, like you. Oh, come on. Yeah. That's a great age, isn't it? When Danny called, I think it was Danny who called for people under 40. I was bitter. I used to be the young adult who ran out like, under 30, yeah. I'm like, 41, I missed it. You know, I lead a young leaders coalition, and I started it when I was like 35. So it's been five years, or six, five years, or maybe I started when I was 36. And we're doing one right now, and it's for young senior leaders under 40. And I'm old. So I don't know if I should kick myself out or not. Because it's, I don't know. Anyways, back to you, Canada. So that's your birthday. And I feel like the reason why that's, you know, why I'm getting your birthday is that, there's a release for you to really come into you, your identity in you, and your fullness of you. And I feel like you're going to help so many people come into fullness of identity. And you've worked hard. You've worked really hard for this. And I felt like the Lord said it came through uh, Gabriel, which is uh, not just an angel, but is that a son or daughter? Daughter. daughter Gabriel. Gabrielle. Something daughter. happened. Gabrielle. Something happened when you birthed your first child where you learned how to love in a way that you were never fully loved. And it caused a mothering spirit to come on you that can nurture the world. And God's going to give you an authority over, over people who uh, are powerful people who just need that nurturing to go the full distance. And they're already empowered, but they're going to go the full distance because of this nurturing of identity that you have in your life. And the Lord says he's going to bless. Uh, he didn't want to leave out Levi or Olivia either. So 
Those must be are those your other two kids? Those are other two kids. Oh, that's awesome. That's your family. Look at you guys. No, we can talk to artists later. That's awesome. Well, let me pray for you. <laughs> Everyone just extend your hands to the fortunes. That's an amazing name. I've never heard it in my life. That's so cool. Lord, we bless them, God, in Oklahoma. Lord, we bless this word. Lord, they came for divine destiny. And I pray that you'd send them back with a gathering anointing to gather like the lost sheep who were wounded, financially wounded, emotionally, but they're going to come back into revival. I see protracted meetings at some point. They're going to be crazy, awesome, anointed meetings that are you guys are going to host the presence over and over, but there's your next installments coming real, real soon. It's going to ambush you and be crazy. Bless you guys. Wow.